my families. So for this week, we're going to do so our project. We're going to do um, jellyfish, um, watercolor, salt um, picture. So we want to get a day just construction paper. Um, kind of hard to see, but like that. Um, so what you're going to need salt, regular blue, I'm using watercolor paint. Um, I actually ended up doing construction paper on cardboard. If you have card stack, it'd be great. Or if you want to just do it directly on cardboard, and then the blue gets pretty wet. So it doesn't, it takes a while to dry. So, um, so yeah, so I'll just start by drawing um, jellyfish on the paper. And the leg. So it's kind of hard to see um, on the camera, but I just did that with a pencil. Um, my marker so I can see better. It's all going to be covered in blue, salt, and Uh, our jellyfish might be the black, black line. I'm also including just a couple of like seaweed. Even though they usually are deeper in the water. Uh, yeah, once you have that all going. Take our glue, and we're gonna outline and fill in We got the bottom. This is the same for the jellyfish. You know, sometimes our kids like to use a lot of glue. This is the perfect time to do that because you're going to fill, it, fill in the whole. This might take a little longer to dry, but that's fine. Uh, so this is also really cool if you want to just do random line, uh, cardstock for paper or something, rather than do an actual picture. That's also something that you guys can do. Um, I feel like a little shape something you work in. Salt is everywhere. That's helpful. So you can see I have all the blue on the jellyfish. And we're going to start putting salt on the glue. I think, honestly, you could probably just use a lot. We have a big container of blue, or of salt in my house, so I don't use it very often. I don't really use it a lot. When you have it all covered, like so, you can just kind of shake off the excess. And then it's all covered in salt. And now the fun part with painting it. Um, first, I'm going to do the, the seaweed. I'm just take the watercolor and just kind of let the paint just bleed into the salt. Oh. 
helps when we have more water. Big more. And the green tape's going to run out too. So we have big more. Also do it into the green, but I'm also adding a little yellow to them just to give it a little more color. On the sea leaf, you can see the green a little bit uh, up here. Up the jellyfish. Really, whatever kind of color you're it wants to do is going to be great. And just kind of the same process we did the seaweed. I'm going to show you. We'll just bleed all of this. Color. Point out it's really colorful. Some yellow over here. And just kind of keep going until you have the desired colors that you want to use. Over here. Like I said, the wetter the paintbrush, the more it's going to bleed. And you can just add some water to it. Purple. Leg, little tentacles, I guess. They're not like. <laughs> Sorry, the dog is working. For those of you guys that have dogs at home, that also happens, I'm sure. But that's part of life right now. So yeah, just keep going until you get it all colored in. Like I said, here's the other one I did. Um, it was on just regular construction paper, so it took a lot longer to dry. Uh, here, so for this example, I kind of be nice to put on cardboard instead. So there you go. Enjoy, guys.